Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Sherry and this is Sherry's Island. So today's video is based on a movie, Princess Mononoke, and it's a Studio Ghibli movie about the importance of protecting nature, I think, among other themes that the movie has. <laughs> And this was a painting that I actually made two attempts on. Today we are finishing up a painting that I had worked on about two weeks ago now and I gave up because it was getting really frustrating to do and I just couldn't get it to be the effect that I was really looking for for the tree and the light and just, everything was going wrong and I gave up in frustration. So today, after two weeks of doing other things and not thinking about it, I decided to give it another try because part of life is learning from your mistakes and another part of life is also perseverance and not giving up, you know? And I'd like to live that life. <laughs> so today we're going to try again and try to finish this painting. I'm gonna paint over some parts so that it looks a little bit better. I have improved equipment. So after this painting, I reevaluated my setup and I decided to get a new brush and some new paints. I got the color black for the paint that I have, which I didn't have before. So it was really frustrating trying to find what colors work together to make black, but now I just have it. So it's gonna work guys. This time it's gonna turn out. And I think before I was also so focused on getting this one tree right. And then I neglected to do any of the other trees. So the, the effect of the painting really wasn't coming out. So I think that also frustrated me a lot. But now I know, and now I can try and fix my mistakes and also work on some other parts of the painting that I didn't get to before. I also created a sketch of it in my notebook so that I could try to get the light right and figure out what kind of lighting goes where and whether it looks better darker farther away or lighter farther away that kind of thing so I find whenever I'm in a rut sketching it out really helps because there's no there's no focus on color and what to do about each of the different colors. It's just looking at light and dark. So that was really helpful to me. And after the break where I painted other things, I feel like I'm finally ready to tackle this again. So that is a very long winded explanation of my return to this painting, which will seem like no time at all in the video. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to let you know my thought process and also I wanted to say that wearing all white while painting is hubris because in fact I did get some paint on my top over here when I was fixing my strap. <sighs> So now we are done the first coat. It is very colorful right now. I just wanted to get the base colors in and then from there I'm gonna build on the colors and make it lighter or change the color altogether sometimes. Depends on which part I'm drawing but you're getting the whole sense of there being a forest now and it's quite dark and the forest is very lush. 
and just that general vibe I'm getting from the painting already, which is a good sign despite this giant mess right in the middle. <laughs> so uh, for the next step, then I'm going to get some more vibrant colors and focus on the light and dark portions of the painting. As you can tell, I'm wearing different clothes now <laughs> because after I was talking about hubris last time, I was wearing that white bandeau top, right? And I got some color on the straps the first week that I wore it and then the second week I wore it. For some reason, the paintbrush slipped right out of my hand and then I, I drew like right in the middle of my down here somewhere <laughs> in black and I was freaking out and I thought to myself this is true hubris like I attempted fate twice by wearing white two weeks in a row and in both weeks I managed to get paint on myself so I had to run very quickly to the bathroom and then put the what is it called one of those leave-in detergents and then luckily after 10 minutes, the paint was able to be washed out. So my bandeau top is still white, <laughs> but I didn't want to attempt fate any further. So I put on my gray shirt. <laughs> so there is one main tree in the center here, and then the rest is the background. That's how I classify it. So what I will do is I will finish up the background first. There's still some white spots on the sides here and then I will start doing the rest of the trees and then finally after most of that is done then I will move on to the bottom portion there's still a lot of white left down here um, a lot of that is underwater so I think it'll be a little bit harder to do so I'll leave that till the end and I think that's it I will check back and talk to the camera if there's anything more I wanted to say but that's it for now.
the lighting that's coming through the trees on and then hitting the other trees the lighting for that I added a little bit of water to the white so that it's not as opaque and wanted it to be a little bit translucent so that you can see the painting underneath but that there is still kind of lights that's coming down Oh yeah, and I use the same technique for the line here, which has the water, where the water starts. The last thing I wanted to do is to add some tree branches and then also dot in some flowers and some very small baby leaves on the tree trunk so that it looks complete and more lush. It's actually really dark now, so I don't know if you can see properly. I'm gonna sign my name, as is our usual. The corner I usually sign is really dark. Okay, I will move my signature up a little bit. All right. <laughs> And that's the end of that drawing. So I finally finished the drawing or the painting. I don't know why I'm always inclined to call it drawing, but you know, it's a painting. <laughs> it's finally done. I'm very happy about it actually. So yeah, we've come a long way. This has been a three week project and I did it over the course of a month. So I was working on other stuff at the same time. And then I finally got around to finishing this one. In hindsight, this has been the most complex painting I've done. I underestimated the complexity of nature. <laughs> and I think I like this one a lot. It might be my favorite one, I'm not sure. And really, I will show you guys a close up the texture is insane and I love drawing trees and I think that's part of the reason is because of the texture I get to layer on layer after layer of paint I hope for those of you who are watching and who really like this and feel like they're brave enough I really urge you to try it and I hope you show me what your end product is Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this very long journey. I feel very happy about this end product even though it was very frustrating in the middle. 
and let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos if you haven't already and if you would like i would love it if you can subscribe comment and thumbs up this video if you want to follow me on my socials you can definitely do that they are going to be linked in the description and also i'm gonna have it up here so i hope you guys stay safe have a great week or a great two weeks until whatever until i see you next i hope you are well and you are taking care of yourself and you can make some time to draw and paint <laughs> and i will see you next time <laughs> bye